Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at Andaz Liverpool Street Lives, joined by the WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Chris William Smith. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yourself? I'm all good, mate. Um, it's all packing their way down. I think it's your last couple of interviews, long day, but feels good to be announced. Feels good. It feels a bit real now, yeah? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm buzzing. That, uh, we obviously got it signed last week, and it's all announced, the press conference, and all the, the fun stuff starts. Obviously, you are the champion, but you go into Sellers Park. Um, was there any ever debate in your mind whether you was going to take the fight at kind of the away fighters ground? No, I was always going to take the fight. Um, we, you know, Boxer and, and Sky Sports wanted it at Bournemouth. We, they, they couldn't do it there because uh, it's too late in the summer for the for AFC Bournemouth to do the pitch. Um, but um, it excites me. It's another football stadium, another Premier League football stadium as a, as a football fan. Um, very, very lucky and fortunate to, to, and honoured to, to get a, another domestic world title fight at a football stadium. I just spoke to Richard and he said there was a bit of needle, there was a bit of stick up there, not too much, but he said he didn't know why there needed to be that. So from your side of things, is there a little bit of bad blood? Is there needle between the two of you? No, it's just uh, he says things and then says other things which contradict the things he said. So I just pulled him up on that, that, that was all. Um, you know, when they're directed towards me and uh, either at me or about me or about the situation, like it's, uh, it just needed to be pulled up on it, and that was all. What are those things? Well, he was con- yeah. contradicting himself in terms of said the fight f- first fight didn't matter, and then he started bringing up the first fight um, and how he's already got the win and how he's got a psychological ed- edge when it, it apparently it didn't matter two minutes ago. So. Look, it's a big occasion for him. It's a it's a big big occasion. His last fight was on an undercard in, in Wolverhampton. You know, fighting a guy who I beat three years ago. So, the step up from that in terms of occasion, press conference, um, world title on the line, sell us part. It's big. So, maybe he's trying to trying to say something out of the ordinary for for that reason. Are you surprised that he said he's improved more since the first fight than you have? Um. He doesn't see me every day in the gym. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. But I think you realise on fight night that's not the case. Um, genuinely, I just think. Yeah, he can't be relying on, on that definitely on, on fight night. I think um, he'll find out then. Are you? Do you still genuinely believe you are improving every day in the gym? Yeah, yeah, massively. I think more so this camp. I've been in camp now for about ten weeks, and we've really sort of uh, turned the corner with a few things, and it's um, it's exciting because. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to showing it, especially in, in, in a fight like this. Um, I think people will be, be very shocked. Do you believe this? you are entering your, the final phase of your career where the, all the biggest nights are happening? Uh, yeah, I don't want to stay yeah. in it too long. You've in been the vocal sense. about that before as well, yeah, haven't you? I, I don't want to overstay, not my welcome, but like overstay, um, be in, you know, be on the downward slope. I want to retire at the top, you know. Um, and I'm close to that now. Yeah. You know, I'm a world champion. I want to unify. I want to have big fights. Um, you know, probably a couple of years max. Um, and then at the moment, currently only twice a year, I've been boxing the last couple of years. So, and it, more than likely, it'll be only be twice this year. So, um, with the fight being, you know, so late. So, yeah, um, I just need to, you know, I'm still still on the up. But um, yeah, we're, we're we're getting near that top level. Are they the last couple of things you want to tick off, the big international fight and a unification? Yeah, unification uh, in the States for me in terms of dreams and stuff like that. Um, you know, and then, you know, fight the, the whoever is the very best, seen as the very best in the division as a one and two. I think at the moment people are talking about Obataya and, 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 and myself. He's got a hard fight coming up. I've got a fight coming up. Um, you know, I've, we're, we seem to be on a bit of a collision course. So, um, but I also have my own dreams of going to America and fighting out there and, and unifying the belt. So, um, yeah, um, hopefully we can we can get all that done. Richard's so confident he knocks you out. Um, but a narrative is kind of his power against your toughness. Is that right? That could be a narrative. <laughs> um, his power's not... People making out that like he's Dante Wilder and he's uh, he's knocked out everyone he's faced and 
uh, he leaves people asleep on the camp. He doesn't. Like he, he doesn't do that. Um, I've had sparring partners in that have come in and spar Richard and then sparred me, and they've gone, "Wow, that's different." Uh, and in terms of power, different in terms of everything. In terms of like, wow, like you will, like you're you're much better than Richard. I'm, like you're a much harder spar than Richard. You're much harder, than, um, you know, to, to deal with than Richard. So. And I know that, but like a lot of people don't, um, unless they've been in the ring with us both. And uh, but yeah, his powers. You know, most people get stopped on their feet, or the towel gets thrown in after they get dropped, or whatever. Um, but it's not as it's not as devastating as he makes out. Um, and also, people slept on my power in the uh, in the Lawrence fight, and uh, I obviously knocked him down. And he's hard to hit clean. He's a lot harder to hit clean than uh, than Richard is. So uh, I'm excited. Chris, thank you very much, mate, and uh, best of luck on June 15th. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Chris. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Mm.